Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the printer error code 0x8007007E that your printer has experienced an unexpected configuration problem. So hopefully it should be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing we're going to do is open up the start menu, type in File Explorer Best result should come back with File Explorer, so go ahead and open that up. You want to select this PC on the left panel here, and then double click on your local disk where Windows is installed. Double click on the Windows folder. Same thing for System32. And double click on it. Locate the Spool folder. And double click on that one as well and now you want to locate drivers, double click on it. So while you're in the drivers folder here, go ahead and search drivers up at the top search bar here and type in print config.dll and search for that. You want to go ahead and right click on this and select copy and now click the back arrows just to go back to the drivers section and then you want to double click on the Time 64 folder. And then there should be a 3 folder in here. If there is not, just the number 3, just right click, New Folder, select Yes, type the number 3 numerically, hit Enter, select Yes, double click on this, and then paste in the driver that we just copied. So continue. So just have that in here. So again, C drive, Windows, System32, Spool, Drivers, Time64, and then the 3. And then restart your computer, restart the printer, see if that has resolved the error message. If you're still having a problem, you can attempt to open up the Star menu, type in Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select Yes. And now go ahead and paste in a command that I'm going to have in the description of the video up in the top bar. Just right click on it, select edit, and select paste to paste it in. Give it a moment here. This would work if for some reason that the photo sample is removed, and so then we just were reinstalling it. However, it is installed, so that's why it's not working, but it would work if it wasn't on your computer, if that makes sense. One third thing you can try here is to perform a system restore, which you know you're welcome to try. I have tutorials on my channel on how to do that. But besides those options, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Check for Windows updates, and um, that's about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.